Today we will travel together to a place voted by most people as the most worth living place in Vietnam. And we will find the answer why this place was voted like that. Hi friends and family, Pickaboo, I'm Lizzie here. Welcome to Đà Nẵng. Đà Nẵng is a city with great potential for tourism development and is the leading major tourist center of Vietnam. Đà Nẵng has one domestic and international airport, so there are many direct flights from all the countries. Or you can choose to fly from Ho Chi Minh City to Đà Nẵng like me. The flight only takes 1 hour and 15 minutes. Right now we are at the airport and I just finished check-in process. And it's 6 a.m. We are going to Đà Nẵng. No! And this is the famous Dragon Bridge. It's located on the beautiful Han River of Đà Nẵng. Aside from astonishing architecture, this bridge is also well known for exciting water and fire performance. On every Saturday, Sunday, and major holidays such as Vietnamese Lunar New Year, the Dragon Bridge Fire Show will take place at 9 p.m. This is the restaurant that we're gonna have the first meal in Da Nang. This is Quảng Noodles and we call it Mì Quảng. If you have been to Đà Nẵng or the central provinces of Vietnam, you should enjoy this one because this is the culinary show of this country. The noodles often have moderate topness. I really white or yellow mixed with broth and the filling is absorbent and rich. Quảng noodles were popular with meat, shrimp, egg and chicken. You can choose one of these toppings. Today, I would like to mix all the toppings together, so I order one bowl of Quảng noodles with full topping. Quảng noodles cannot be without fresh vegetable. Usually at the restaurant, Quảng noodle dish will come with a plate of vegetable including banana flour, lettuce, basil and other herbs. The broth mainly suits from pork buns or young ribs but seasoning so that the broth is rich and full of flavor. The bowl of Quảng noodles we ate today was really delicious. The broth was not too salty, had a fatty taste from the siu meat, and it was very tasty when eating with noodles and fresh vegetable. I ate until the last spoon and was still impressed with the flavor of this Quảng noodle soup. Do you have anything? After eating any review, I love the vegetable. It's so motherfucking fresh. Yeah. <laughs> now we will move to a very unique pagoda here. You can see the statue of Lady Buddha on the way to the pagoda, and that is Lin Eng Pagoda. On the way, we will enjoy the beautiful scenery of this beautiful city. Sơn Trà Peninsula in Đà Nẵng, a tall white statue of Lady Buddha looks upon the sea and the port with her gentle eyes, protecting the local fishermen and keep them strained to fight the waves and winds. The statue also marked the entry to the Lin Eng Bãi Vuk Bakoda, which is one of the most beautiful temples in Vietnam. The 
is an old story that has been told for many generations about the history of Lin Eng Bai Phu Pagoda. In the reign of King Min Mang Nguyen Dynasty, 19th century, a satun of Buddha suddenly drifted from out of nowhere to the sandbank in the Sengja Peninsula. Believing that this satun was a good omen, the coastal fishermen and residents set up a shrine. Since then, the waves gradually become quieter and softer. And this helped the coastal people to safely go out for fishing work and make a living. The Satu Drifter started to be called Bai Buk, which means Buha Rim in the middle of the world. The Lin Eng Pagoda today is actually built right on top of that. This is Lin Eng Pagoda in the mountain of Da Nang. This is Lin Eng This is 100% free, so there's no entrance fee for this holy place. Lin Eng Pagoda attracts a large number of tourists and Buddhists from all over the world who come to admire its fabulous beauty, sacred atmosphere, and learn more about the Buddhist culture. The pagoda has been considered a Buddhist paradise on earth. Many monkeys wow. so cute. Because there's many monkeys on the way, so you need to be careful. So why we have the Lady Buddha standing in the mountain and looking down to the sea? Because Da Nang is surrounded by the sea and the Lady Buddha here to pray and protect, to keep the, the sea peaceful always and to protect the fishmen. And that's why we have the Lady Buddha here on the mountain really big looking down. We have so many tourists and foreigners visit. The pagoda. This is the main hall of the pagoda. The pagoda has very beautiful garden with 18 marble arches. You guys can take picture right here. It's really nice.
and it's really nice. And now we just back to the city. We will enjoy the muti now. Okay. And this is our hotel. It's almost 6 30 pm and we are getting ready to go to the night market to eat seafood for dinner. <cười> One of the things you cannot miss when coming to Da Nang is enjoy seafood dishes. Today we will go to a seafood restaurant introduced by a friend from Da Nang. This is a restaurant that local people often visit. This restaurant not only reasonable price but also the seafood is diverse, fresh and comfortable. And this is Baro Restaurant. We order many dishes such as shrimp with tamarind salt, snail with garlic butter sauce, steamed clam with lemongrass, grilled oyster with onion, and grilled lobster with cheese. You guys, let's enjoy with us. prepare very well fresh seafood retaining the crunchiness and the sweetness from the shrimp snail clam oyster and lobster Let me show you guys how to eat snail in Vietnam.
you need a sharp stick, then you put it in the snail meat. Then you take it out and you dip it with the sauce and then you eat. And now we move to juicy oyster. It's very hot, so you need to be careful not to burn your tongue. And I cannot speak because it's just really delicious. And I'm just speechless. And this is the king of tonight. The most expensive dish, the half of lobster. For me, I don't really like the original taste of lobster. I prefer tiger palms. However, my friend wanted to eat lobster, so I ordered a small lobster that we shared. And I'm just so full right now. Let me show you guys some magic. And this is our bill for tonight. It's just so worth it, and we ate everything. Before finish our day one in Da Nang, let's go to Sung Cha Night Market. We are at the Night Market. Chợ đêm Sơn Trà, Sơn Trà Night Market. Đi đi chị. Coi coi có lạnh không? The weather right now is really cold, so my friend want to buy a jacket. Có bán áo không? Hello, please. They sell so many souvenirs in the night market. If you want to buy something for your friends or family, you can come here to check up something. Right now it's 11 p.m. and the night market is still very crowded. Oh, <laughs> 
một nơi em á em á mưa mà kem á kem cũ this side stream are very crowded so many people want to buy dạ em cảm ơn cảm ơn dạ cảm ơn anh nhiều lắm nè They also sell combo of seafood. It's so much cheaper than all the restaurants, but I'm very concerned about the quality, so I don't buy the seafood here. Yeah, come on. But I will try the ice cream here. Suddenly, it's just raining so hard right now. And this is my order. I ordered durian ice cream, girl. Kèm bốc khói rồi luôn And I'm back to my hotel now Thanks for watching I hope to see you guys in the next video We're gonna go to Hội An next time Bye bye Hãy subscribe cho